welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my full and complete Jeffree Star Cosmetics makeup collection. I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have ever since he announced that he was coming out with a makeup line and I'm going to be showing you my full collection, every product that I have by him. And a little disclaimer, this was all collected within a matter of two years ever since he first released Unicorn Blood and Celebrity Skin. Uh, this is not bought all at once. None of this was sent to me for free. This was all bought with my own money. So I just kind of want you to keep that in mind that um, this is a two-year collection. I don't have nearly as much as some other people, but a lot of you have requested to see a full collection on everything that I have, so I figured that's what we could do. So I'm going to start with my liquid lipstick collection first and show you all the ones that I have. I do have swatch videos on every lipstick that you are seeing here. And I also have a few makeup looks using his palettes and things like that. So let's go ahead and start with my liquid lip collection. First, I have these three that you're seeing here, which are all velour liquid lipsticks. And these ones are the Summer Chrome Collection for 2017. I did just do a haul and swatch videos on those if you guys are interested in seeing what they look like. That is up on my channel. So the three that I have from the Summer Collection is this one, which is Family Jewels. I have this really nude colored one, which is butt naked and then I have this darker nude which is hunty and these are all limited edition for the summer of 2017 moving on to this lipstick rack which I did get this from eBay for a couple bucks I just have all of the liquid lipsticks here so these three that you're seeing in the front are from the summer 2016 collection so this one is 714 I also have Nude Beach, and then I also have Virginity. So those are the three bright colors that I got last summer. These next two are from the Manny MUA collab that they recently did together. And for that, I have Daddy, and I also have I'm Shook. Moving on down the line here, we have this really pretty color. This is one of my favorites. This is from winter of 2015, which is what the white cap is from. And this is in the shade Androgyny. I absolutely love that color. It is one of my favorites. And I also do have a backup of it right here. Sorry, it's not focusing very well, but I do have a couple backups. So Androgyny is one of them. And Androgyny is also part of his permanent line now, in case any of you are wondering. Moving up to the second row, we have winter of 2016. 16 release. This first one that you are seeing is in the shade Deceased and it's like a little bit kind of similar to Scorpio but it also has more of like a nudie look to it. And then this one I always have a hard time pronouncing but it's like a shimmery pink color and it's called uh, Chrysanthemum. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure but that's what that one looks like there. All the rest that you're seeing are part of his permanent line which all of his permanent line do have the pink caps that you're seeing and I have them tilted upside down so I can very easily see the colors. So just going down the line starting here as I have it goes from nude all the way up to the more dramatic colors. This first one is in the shade I'm Nude which is a super white concealer nude lipstick. This one is the next one down the line and this one is in the shade Mannequin as you can see I do get quite a bit of use out of that guy as well. I have two celebrity skins here and the reason why is because celebrity skin is my all-time favorite color from his collection so I have two of them there. I also have a backup androgyny as I just showed you and then I also have a backup of posh spice which is another one of my favorites. Moving on down the line of course we have posh spice which is a really nice taupey gray colored lipstick. I absolutely love this one for the fall time. That's probably when I wear Posh Spice the most is when it comes to around fall. Next getting into the more darker nudes we have this one right here which is in the shade Gemini. And I also have the shade Leo which is pretty similar to Gemini but it has more of like a brown shade to it. And then I own a pink lipstick by him, and this is in the shade Doll Parts. It's not a super bright out there pink, but it's definitely more of a muted one, and it's really, really flattering. So that's the only pink one that I own in his liquid lipsticks. Moving on to this back row here is where we have more of the dramatic colors. This first one is a black lipstick, and this is in the shade Weirdo. And the one thing I notice about this one is that it does have a little bit of a green hue to it, so it actually is really, really cool. This next one is a super dark chocolatey brown, and this is in the shade Dominatrix, which I love this one for fall time as well. It's just super flattering, and it's literally like a true brown lipstick. I love it. Next, we have one of his first releases, which is Unicorn Blood. It's a really nice dark burgundy red lipstick. 
Then we have this one, which is a super out there color. This is in the shade Abused. If you have an issue with that name, I suggest you just leave this video now. So many people threw a fit over the name of this lipstick. I don't understand why, but whatever. So this one is just a really nice navy blue purple color. Next, we're moving on to Scorpio, which as you can see, it's pretty similar to Deceased as I just showed you. And this one is super flattering on the lips. And then the last Velour Liquid Lipstick that I own is this super cool green one, and this is in the shade Dirty Money. Moving on before we move on to my lip ammunition, I have three lip scrubs by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This first one is in the shade Gingerbread Cookie or gingerbread man cookies, I'm sorry. And it smells literally just like Fruity Pebbles. If you don't know what a lip scrub is, basically it's just supposed to be a scrub for your lips to get off all the dead skin and keep them moisturized, things like that. So I have three of them. And then this next one is in the um, scent Spearmint. And literally all of these um, lip scrub scents are so honestly amazing. They all smell so good. And then this one, which is from the Summer 2017 collection, this one is in the shade not the shade, oh my gosh. This one is in the scent Blue Raspberry Sucker. Moving on to all of my lip ammunitions, which are like the liquid lipstick, but these ones have a little bit more of a creamy formula. I have three from the Summer Collection. This first one that you're seeing is in the shade Skin Tight, which is kind of like a really pinky nude. This one is in the shade Birthday Suit, which is like a year lips, but better color. It's really pretty. And then we have another concealer type nude, which you can't really tell on camera right now. I'm sorry that the lighting is really off. But this one is in the shade Birkin Suede. And then the other two lip ammunitions that I have are from his permanent line. And the only two that I have are Celebrity Skin, obviously, because that is my favorite shade by him. I have this one, which I use all the time. And then I also have a backup one of the Celebrity Skin as well. Moving on to makeup palettes before we move into my skin frost is I have two makeup palettes by Jeffree Star and these are the only two that he has in stock right now. He is coming out with a new one for fall which I'm so looking forward to but for right now the only two that I have is this first one down here which is the androgyny palette and then the one up top is the beauty killer palette. The beauty killer palette he came out with first and then the androgyny palette he came out with second. Out of two of these the androgyny one is definitely my favorite. I just really like the colors in it the best. And then here is the Beauty Killer palette up close. We just have a lot of shimmery colors, really bright, dramatic colors. My favorite shade out of this so far, like out of the ones that I've tried, is Courtney, which is that transition color up in the corner here. And then here is an up close view of the Androgyny palette as well. And then moving on to my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost collection. I have, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many are here. I have quite a few of them. Starting in this corner, I have this first skin frost that you are seeing, and this is in the shade So Fucking Gold. It's a really, really bright gold skin frost. Moving on to another gold one that I have right next to it. This is in the shade King Tut. Definitely So Fucking Gold has more of like a coppery shade to it, and King Tut is more golden. Moving on down the line, we have this purple highlighter, which is one of my favorites, and this is in the shade Lavender Snow. I love the way this looks on me. It's super glowy, super out there. I absolutely love it. So that's what Lavender Snow looks like. This one is my most recent purchase. This is from the Summer Collection release that he did, and this is in the shade Summer Snow Cone. It's a really beautiful yellow gold highlighter. Next, we have this one, which is from the Jeffree Star Manny MUA collaboration, which is why you are seeing the moon in the pan. And this one is in the shade Eclipse. It's just a really bright kind of pinkish highlighter kind of. Then moving on to the last three that I have is I have another gold one, which all of the gold skin frosts are super similar, but this one is in the shade Siberian Gold. And this one's more golden than King Tut, and so fucking gold is more coppery. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, but that's just what I've noticed with all of them. This next one is in the shade Princess Cut, and this is actually probably my least favorite one. I don't know why, I just don't reach for this one as much as I thought I would, but and then this one, which is again another one of my favorites. This is my very first skin frost that I ever purchased from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, as you can probably tell by the way it looks. And this is in the shade Peach Goddess. Oh, it's like the perfect highlighter. Like if you're going to get any skin frost from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it should definitely be Peach Goddess because it's so, so flattering on so many different skin tones and it's just gorgeous. Alrighty guys, that pretty much completes my full and entire Jeffree Star Cosmetics 
makeup collection. I do own quite a bit of it. But regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give a huge, huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.